Hi and welcome to my channel. Now today's a follow up on this Sansui 331 just uh, cleaning up this front plate um, but this works for any kind of silver uh, brushed aluminium plate on an amplifier or receiver so if you've got a different amplifier receiver you're going to get pretty much the same results on the bits and pieces that I'm using to clean this up. Just going to give you a little demonstration of what I use or talk to you about what I use. Uh, just to recap these receiver was quite dirty at the front and a lot of grind marks and all that and actually some quite embedded where you give it a little wipe and it still stays there uh, there's quite embedded some of the kind of like it, you could kind of say it looks like it's going a bit mildew but it wasn't but that kind of effect on it if you know what i mean so I'm just, uh, yeah on the front here we had two stickers a bbc sticker about tuning into different stations and a picture of a dog or something there i put a picture up of the screen there hopefully you can kind of get an idea if you uh, haven't seen my previous video of what it actually looked like at the front <clears throat> do beg my pardon now so uh, to get to this particular unit we've got two screws at the side and that takes the top off and i re vinyled that top okay-ish didn't i okay-ish in a previous video uh, so once you took them top off you've got two screws here as well just holding this front plate on at the top i'll just show you a picture of that and we're going to have some nuts at the front well first of all we're going to have to take all these controls off these would be on the front all these controls uh, all these knobs so you just literally pull them off uh, once you've done that you're going to be presented with on this particular receiver two nuts two of these little nuts one goes here and one goes there so i've got them now pushing them across out of the way and once you've done that and these screws are undone at the top this literally just pulls off like that there you go so that just pulls off like that and as you can see this is pretty much gleaming now on the stuff i've used to, to clean it with but let's leave this here which i'm going to come to later we're going to do a video about cleaning this front plate, putting some new uh, bulbs in and uh, just a general bit more cleaning there. I'll do that on, a pre on, on another video, uh, otherwise it just takes too long. <coughs> but on it, I had some stickers here. <coughs> oh, do beg your pardon, I've got um, a bit of a cough today. <coughs> I had some stickers on the front just here. Now the first one uh, was a paper kind of sticker, so I kind of wetted it a little bit, just normal water kind of thing and uh, got to it a bit, but it still wouldn't come off. So for that, I usually use WD-40 to get rid of that I usually just spray a little bit of wd-40 on it let's soak in there a little bit and just kind of just rub it with my thumb something like that and it usually comes off i didn't have any wd well, i did have wd-40 but it was this one here this is like contact cleaner but it seems to do the job okay i usually just use normal wd-40 uh, so that got that sticker off okay uh, the second sticker was this uh, bbc kind of sticker and that was really really stuck on well so wd-40 didn't really penetrate that enough it, it didn't do anything kind of took a little bit of the top part of it off it was kind of like a film kind of cover took the top kind of part is but it's it, it still plenty of like not so much residue but just just another film underneath it was just stuck on so tight so for that uh, i actually use this this is pretty good this is like this is um where we carex customs carex aloe vera angel angel so i should imagine any angel would probably do it so it's just a matter of actually putting that angel on it letting it soak in a bit and just keep on rubbing it and getting my fingernail underneath because you don't want to be using any um, scrapers or anything like that in case you catch this aluminium but just put my fingernail underneath carex going in a circular motion getting it well embedded in there and doing it a few times it wasn't it was really really stuck on doing it a few times then finally it come off it took me about 10 15 minutes it was a bit of a process that one but then it finally come off so once doing that uh, what I did then is actually clean this aluminium. Now you can like, say so if you just do it with soap and water or some kind of grease kind of stuff cleaner. It, it was so embedded in there that I actually used this here. This is what I use here. I used a fine version of this. This is used for cleaning CDs. You know when you get scratched CDs, you use this in a machine that kind of a, it kind of a, it's got a little bit of abrasion to it. Just a very fine bit of abrasion to it. This is the fine one they do do an heavy one as well an every scratch one so if you've got some heavy scratches they do do this and it is very good this stuff but you've got to be so careful when you use it as well especially if you've got as we've got on here uh and a, 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 a silver coating on a piece of plastic where this is metal this is plastic here and if you rub it too hard it takes a little bit of doing but if you rub it too hard you'll go down to that plastic you'll see the black coming through especially with the heavy ones so be careful so just just if you start using this just start using it gently first of all and seeing what kind of response you're getting on the actual thing you're using it on it's okay with aluminium because it's not going to 
it's going to go down to aluminium anyway kind of thing it just takes a very unbelievably thin coat of aluminium off and also you've got to be careful here this at this receiver because i've done the other one with it as well ages ago and a few other bits and pieces this this decal here is stuck on quite nicely you don't see many of these where bits are missing a bit of the writing's missing you don't see that so you can give this quite a good hard going over with that now what i usually do is do it in circles like that just rubbing it around in circles like that all the way around and that gets so much of the grime then obviously down here you're going to have to go across backwards and forwards and just a combination of circles and a bit of going backwards and forwards comes up really nice really really nice now when they do do a solution here just a finishing solution which i've run out of uh it's basically just um, a bit like this really just uh this is for heat sinks and cpus this is a cleaner for that and it just gets the thermal paste and grease off so just you know spray this on there on a cloth then just go over it just to pick everything off just pick all the residue and whatever that's giving off off the unit and it comes up nice and gleaming done the top as well so i'm really pleased the bottom and the side so yes yeah, come up really nice now what i did do with this one which is great you may not be able to do this with every receiver amplifier but on the back we've got some screws here and what i did is undone them screws as you can see there and the front pops out this plastic pops out at the front as you can see there and that means you can get into here much more cleaner you can give it a more cleaner especially there's a very small gap there of about two millimeters now normally you won't be able to get in there and give it a very good clean probably maybe i spray uh, one of these air cleaners in there or something like that but when you take this bit off you can get into that so you get every nook and cranny and it doesn't kind of leave a little bit here where you've cleaned up to there but you can still see a very slight mark where these join up together as you've got that front bit off that gets rid of everything so unless they don't worry about that noise that's just these two clips on the front on moving up and down but obviously i didn't do this but i'll give the dusting inside but i didn't give it a complete clean I just obviously give the dust inside the dusting but i didn't completely clean it uh, as i did with the front it, it isn't worth it well it may be for you but it wasn't for me so that's it so that's that receiver that that front plate hopefully you can see that it's catching in the light here and there that's come up really nice it really has so i'm pleased with that this is the stuff i use I'm just going to turn it around so you can see it again this is the bits and pieces i've been using to do that and a combination of them kind of does the job um, i'm just going to put that over there rather than get it started. obviously next thing for me to do i know if to do it on camera but is that the same kind of process is just clean all the knobs because you've got all that grime and grit in the knobs there so i'm just going to clean them knobs up the fronts and all that using a combination of these actually i'll probably end up using just a fine scratch remover on a cloth and just getting in there and cleaning them knobs up and they're going to come up a treat as well so that's it so the next video i'm going to do the front we're going to take this perspex off and clean the uh the front where the radio stations are and all that clean a few knobs and also one bit here that's quite important as well on this particular receiver it had a little bit of foam here and you'll see in the next video that that just crumbles into fine powder dust as soon as i took it off there's a little bit of dust there and if it just got a touch you'll see me just tapping it i've done a little video of me just tapping it and you'll see it just just the dust just keeps on getting more and more and more of the fine particles and they're going to go well it could quite easily go in them switches there to give like a, a, a dodgy contact shall we say a bad contact uh, yeah so that's the thing that does happen with some foam we know rubber kind of deteriorates over time but so does that foam as in the foam surround the speakers it just goes into fine powder and get everywhere really so um, you know well worth taking that completely off which i'll do in the next video okay until then i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon